From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of evenings, LA Late, with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2022. In tonight's recording, we go over the big checks, MSC checks landing, four stimulus checks landing, and six stimulus heating up as the president goes overseas to meet with that international leadership to get the six stimulus package passed. It's the biggest package you see in the history of this channel, and it would happen as the same as third and fourth at the same time. Third stimulus checks landing MSCs, fourth stimulus landing, but six stimulus would align the United States with Germany and France for the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel. We'll be looking at that six stimulus package tonight and what it means for the legislators and what it means for the states, the big money across the board for the United States. Then we'll be looking at everything else across the board. CR, what happened with that? SS300, breaking news tonight. As Jay Powell comes in with a shocking statement on interest rates, not something we had seen no less than one week ago. Is it good or is it bad? We'll be looking at the future for CR with another round across the board from Joe Biden and everything else behind six stimulus. The oil situation getting better as a new deal is inked with the White House and one of the adversaries for 15 years. Which adversary and why is the U.S. marketing to get 1.3 million barrels of gasoline over the next few weeks? Which country is giving it to us and who would up our prices for gasoline to the lowest prices we've seen in a generation. Then what about Odessa as Vladimir Putin advances on Odessa tonight for March 22nd, 2022? What does it mean for the wheat, grain, soybeans, corn? And also, what about those banks set to potentially see a major default from who else? Vladimir Putin. All the latest details tonight. But it's a big night with a lot of incredible great news as your third stimulus MSC checks have landed. Viewers have got to them in their hands. I'm going to show you how to get it. Four stimulus checks have landed in people's hands. I'll show you how to get them. And then we'll be going over the next things. CR, SS300, and of course, Build Back Better Act and everything else you need to know is six stimulus. As the president lands in Brussels and your checks are landing as well. It's a big, bold, beautiful night across the board. We'll be looking at the recessionary concerns and the inflationary concerns as evening's LA heats up from the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's America's most watched show in prime time. Evenings starts right now. And good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful evening. And boy, what a night it is. As third stimulus MSC checks are landing. Wow. Well, the latest details on that from the shores of Santa Monica, California tonight. Fourth stimulus checks are landing. Yes, not coming in the future. Coming already. Viewers have already cashed their checks. How do you get it? Then we'll be looking at SS300. Jay Powell with that shocking statement to reduce inflation. Oh, boy. What does it does do for SS300? Your additional $300 a month if you're on benefits. All the latest breaking news. And then that deal for oil. Does it sideline six stimulus? It does not. And six stimulus heats up. Joe Biden landing overseas to meet with that international leadership to talk about the big solutions they need for wheat, grain, soybeans, corn, oil, and everything across the board, including the potential default by Vladimir Putin as he advances on Odessa tonight. While the latest details from the battleground and how it impacts your wallet at home, and of course, we'll have Build Back a Better Act. It's a big night with a lot of breaking news across the board. I'm excited you're here. But first, we're going to go over all the incredible checks in the Build Back Better Act so you understand what's at issue. The fourth stimulus recon was initially thought as just the Build Back Better Act, but an ancillary piece of legislation was done by the President of the United States three weeks ago, and those checks have now landed. We'll be covering those in just a second. First, let's start back with the original meat and potatoes of the four stimulus. It was Build Back Better Act. It's still happening. A new series of correspondences between the White House and congressional leaders this week says they want to get it done. And remember, it's fifteen dollars to $80,000. If that number sounds familiar, it should because it's the same as that 
ancillary piece of legislation coming up in a second. It has three clusters and three add-ons. Let's look at the deliciousness in prime time right now. In that first cluster, checks we get in there, hazard pay, one more year of that earned income tax credit for my essential workers. $3,600 for the CTC, the children got in there. $4,000 care for elders got in there. Care for young children got in there. Home repairs, if you live in a low-income community, totally free, got in there. $550 checks for my college students, the Pell Grant, got in there. And then the $12,500 for the purchase of the first of the purchase of a new electric vehicle. The first add-on of checks comes from Maxine Waters, just a little bit less than $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. Money given to the seller in your name at the time of escrow by the federal government. It's huge, and it got in there. Then we turn to the second of three clauses of checks in the Build Back Better Act. Are you ready? I am. Home repairs to weatherize your home and paid leave. What is paid leave? Folks, this is a lot of money. This is you have to stay home due to sickness or illness across the board. How much? $75,000 or you get $1,700 a week. $1,500, excuse me, $800 a week if you make $35,000 or less per year. And then if you make $15,000 a year, it's $400 a week. W-2, 1099, you get it. And if your son or daughter doesn't work, but you don't work and they have to take you to the doctor's office once a week, they get the check as well. It's huge and they got it in there. It's paid leave. That is the incredible second cluster of checks in that Build Back Better Act for Simmons Recon that the President of the United States mentions in a new correspondence between him and the legislators this week, and they wrote back and they want to get done. Huge news tonight on evenings. Now let's look at that second add-on of checks. It's even better. $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disabilities. Got it in there via Bob Casey, a campaign promise from Joe Biden. When we turn to that third cluster of checks, we get even more. Seniors, free internet checks for all. Farmers checks, independent contractors checks. But the seniors getting lots of checks in this Build Back Better Act. They're getting hearing checks, vision checks, dental checks, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, providing a Medicaid gap fix. They'll provide insurance to uninsured people in those 12 Republican holdout states, which is par for the course when we're talking about adding checks to the Fourth Stimulus Recon, the Build Back Better. Guess what the other check that they would add in there? MSC. MSC is the third of three add-ons to the Build Back Better. These are monthly IRS stimulus checks to the Fourth Stimulus Recon. But viewers of this channel have already gotten third stimulus MSC checks this week. It's different. We'll go over those third MSC checks in just a second. These four stimulus MSC checks, who would get it? Let's go over the details. Single individuals, $75,000 less, you get it. Married couples, $150,000 less, you get it. Double. Family four, you get it as well. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or wearable benefits, you get it as well. The legislators who represent the eligibility would be the same as a third stimulus check. Again, this is four stimulus, build back better, add on of a monthly IRS stimulus check. How many months? Six months they represent. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. There you go. It's not income. It's not taxable. It'll go to adult dependents as well. It goes nationwide. It's not state stimulus. And yes, let's repeat. This is Build Back Better, which is not law yet. It's add-on of a monthly IRS stimulus check. This is different than the incredible, huge payouts of monthly stimulus checks that viewers are now getting from third stimulus. It's coming up later in this video. Yes, you will get both of them, but the third is bigger than the fourth. Why? Because the viewership of this channel, the membership of this channel is now getting MSC checks. They've landed. They've landed this week. And it's not $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter, like fourth stimulus. It's a year of checks in some cases, $1,500. In some cases, it's $150,000. It's huge, and it's coming up late in this video. It's landing, and viewers have gotten it. Now, let's go over the other breaking details tonight. The breaking details is that now we have confirmed cases that a sub-variant in the United States of Omicron. Why is this important for your stimulus? Because Joe Biden, two weeks ago, in asking for money in that continuing resolution, asked for money for COVID. He did not get it. So he's coming back with another funding bill in the next few days.
The CR did pass. It did not have a $2,000 stimulus check in there. They did allocate that $1.5 trillion of discretionary spending, but they did not allocate it to a federal stimulus check. They did allocate it to, in some part, county stimulus. So reach out to your local county to learn about that county stimulus that got in the CR. But yet, yeah, that is that CR from March 2020. Joe Biden coming back with another funding bill to provide money for COVID. You could potentially get a stimulus check in there as well. Now, let's turn to SS300 with major breaking details tonight. First, let's go over what SS300 is. It is the raising of your benefits up $200 a month now, and then another $100 later this year. That's why it's called SS300. Not my creation, Joe Biden's creation. He promises for the President of the United States, then put in his campaign, then put in his presidential platform at JoeBiden.com. What did he write? He wants to swap out COLA for inflation. Swapping out COLA for inflation would lock in a higher price point. Let's go over the details. Every year, your benefits are reassessed based upon a benchmark, currently COLA. It doesn't move. So Joe Biden says he wants to swap out COLA for inflation. Well, here's the analysis. You want to swap it out now when inflation's high rather than later when it's going to be lower. Why? Because inflation's at a jaw-dropping, generational highest level we've ever seen. 8% for the month of December, 8% for the month of January. That's why you want to lock it in now before it comes lower. Why is it getting lower? Because of a particular person. That particular person who's bringing it back down lower is your your head of the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell. Jay Powell's job is to lower inflation because it's out of control. And what is the breaking news on that front tonight? So much breaking news of what Jay Powell said in the last 24 hours. Jay Powell reverted, changed his guidance for what he's doing at those five or six FOMC meetings the next five to six months. Let's go over why this is shocking or not shocking for your SS300. Remember, when we look at that SS300, we want to lock in that higher inflation rate because once your benefits go up, they never go down. So if you lock in 8% right today, it raises your benefits up about $200 lifetime, not just this month, not just this year. But if you lock in 150, that is your lifetime lift up. When would it be 150? If inflation went to 6%, why would it go to 6%? If Jay Powell does what he said in the last 24 hours, let's take a step back. It was in the month of February that Jay Powell said that because inflation is tracking high, he's going to have a quarter basis point over the next fo over the next FOMC meetings. Quarter basis point is also half basis point. Then he had the meeting this last week, and he did exactly what he said. Quarter basis, 25 basis point. He gave guidance for the whole year, 175 basis point. That's 25 times six. Yeah, he says he wants to do over six meetings. That was still fine. Soft landing, not hard landing. But what did he say in the last 24 hours? Maybe we should do a hard landing. Oh, no, Jay, why are you saying this? What is hard landing versus soft landing? Hard landing means we come in more aggressively on inflation, not quarter, half basis point now. And soft landing is we come in softer. That's what he did last week. Quarter basis point, softer, good for SS300 because you'd still lock in that $200 a month. Hard landing, not good for SS300, because if you come in aggressively, inflation drops quickly, like to 6%. That's not SS200, that's SS175 or 155. So, what's the analysis tonight? Jay Powell had a meeting last night, and he said, maybe I'm a little too weak, and maybe I need to do a half basis point. Let's translate this. First, he didn't say he is doing a half basis point. Wall Street believes that the comments and the words were strong enough in that meeting overnight, which is at the National Association of Business Economics, that it looks like he's reverting policy. Let's take a step back what's happened the last seven days because it's very fast moving. Seven days ago, he said quarter, stay in a quarter until it's worse. Then, Boulard and, and, and also Wallace, his Fed governor's under his said, Jay missed it. He should have come in more aggressively. Now, at that meeting uh, of national business economists saying, you know what, maybe I need to go more aggressively. This is not good because Joe hasn't made that swap for COLA for inflation. What did Jay Powell say? We'll take the necessary steps to ensure a return to price stability. The market's strong. Inflation's too high. In particular, if it's more appropriate to move too aggressively with raising it to a higher thing, then we'll do it. He said, if we need to do more than 25 basis points in the meetings, we will do so. So does that say he's doing it? No. 
Does it say he's going to do it for multiple meetings? No. Wall Street's takeaway from it, mixed bag. My analysis for it, starting right now. My analysis is that we're fine for Joe swapping cola for inflation early, anytime in March, early April. And still, I think we're fine for late April. Why? Because I don't think that Jay Powell has the tools. Has the tools? Yes. Wall Street analysts, a lots of them, think that Jay Powell is just talking and can't do the walk. They think that inflation is hot and will stay hot, despite whatever Jay Powell does, because it's caused by something else, supply chain disruption, China and Russia. And if that's the case, then we're fine if Joe Biden makes a swap for cola for inflation anytime in early April, late April, and certainly in the month of March. Now, what I'm equally, what I'm actually more concerned about is that December. Joe and myself and you have been watching Jay Powell's comments, and he initially said he wanted to drop to inflation until the end of the year at 4%. That would be an additional $100 on top of your existing benefits, which is what Liz Warren wanted you to have. But then at that FOMC meeting last week, he said he wants to drop it to 1.9. That is not $100, folks. That's $10 or $20. Now, let's go over my takeaway on that as well. I don't think Jay Powell can do it. I don't think he's going to get it. I think he's talking again. He's not going to get it that low. And I'm very, very strong about my opinion on that. So I think you're still fine on the 100, but I don't want to risk it. That's why Joe needs to make the phone call. Joe, make the phone call to that Social Security Ministry ahead. Swap cola for inflation. Do it right now. Now, let's go over the incredible success stories. The incredible success stories is that third stimulus was passed last January 2021. And as of tonight, countless viewers of this channel have cashed, yes, cashed, an MSC from third stimulus. It's absolutely huge. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over what this third stimulus MSC is. But first, I want to recap so you don't get confused. This is not the Build Back Better Act fourth stimulus MSC check that comes from IRS. That has to go by act of Congress. This is not something that's dependent on Joe Manchin or Chris Sinema or Mitch McConnell. This is third stimulus MSC. And where to come from? Out of nowhere. Did I predict it? No. Is it something that the membership of this channel has gotten because of my recordings? Oh, boy, baby, yes, it is. And how much are they getting? They're getting more than anything that Build Back Better Act would ever give them. $1,500 a month for 12 months. It's the norm on this channel. Who's getting it? The members. And the second half of this video, we're going to go over it. It's huge. And it's in addition to fourth stimulus IRS MSC checks. These are third stimulus MSC checks. I'm going to show you how to get it. It's coming up in the second half of this video. You have to do something to get it. Sitting back and looking at the mailbox or doing a lobster dance at the 11th hour won't work. <laughs> then we'll be looking at four stimulus. Yes, we already talked about Build Back Better Act. Bill, law, no. It's only a bill. It's not a law yet. But what is this for stimulus add-on? It went by the president, didn't it, Congress? And it was announced three Fridays ago, went live three Mondays ago. We're now at, it's now been live for three weeks and one day. Well, guess what? Viewers are now getting those checks. They've actually gotten their four stimulus checks. And other members have gotten their application on file. It says complete, and they're ready to get paid. All because of Joe Biden. It is not something that goes by Congress. It is a four stimulus add-on. Yes, Build Back Better Act, not a law. This is an add-on, is law. Did not go by Congress. It went by the president's doing. In the second half of this video, we'll go over how to get those big sums of money. It's for members. Get that membership link. The top is at the it's at the top of the chat. Then we'll be looking at six stimulus. Wow, this is huge, folks. Why? Because the president of the United States is about to land in Brussels. And what are they talking about? Six stimulus, which is caused by Putin. First was caused by COVID. This one is caused by Putin. It's because of oil. And guess what? I have an oil deal for you. Your gasoline is going down. But even if gasoline goes down by April, they're still going to do six stimulus. The largest stimulus package you've ever seen in the history of this channel. It's because of Putin. Caused to solve oil, wheat, grain, commodities, and also to stabilize the banking industry that may become unstable, uh, unstable as Vladimir Putin sees a major potential default on April 4th of $2 billion. Boy, it's a huge second half of this recording. We're going to go over all those incredible checks from third stimulus MSC being cashed by viewers of this channel. Fourth stimulus, those checks lay in their hands. And then sixth stimulus, new to this channel, I'll explain. A stimulus packages on this channel 
are numbered, but that doesn't mean you have to get one before you get the other. So second, not law, the third, excuse me, <laughs> third, fourth are happening right at the same time right now. And then six will happen starting in April. Fifth, not happening yet. Build Back Better Act would happen after this. And fifth would happen as well behind it as well. We'll have all the details in big second half. Get your pen and paper ready. Get ready to take notes. If you're not a member, go up under the video or go under the video. Become a member. Get that incredible newsletter tonight. But first, there's a little bit about the community page. I'll see you back in 60 seconds. As America's most watched show in prime time that's getting people big sums of money on the hour by the hour goes back into its second half. See you back in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the community page as the evening's highlight continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings at 8 at 9 a.m. Home LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues in a big second half of evening to LA tonight from the shores of Santa Monica, California to the shores of the Black Sea. Boy, we have a big second half. In the second half, we're going to go over those third stimulus MSC checks that have now landed. Then we'll be looking at four stimulus checks, six stimulus checks. And then the latest details on all these other sums of money that you need to know. It's a big second half, and I'm excited you're here. Let's get right to the money. First, we're going to go over the incredible details of the fourth stimulus add-on that have now landed. And I'm going to slow it down, get ready with your pen and paper, and take notes. If you're a member, open that membership newsletter and follow along. The fourth stimulus has arrived. Four stimulus checks have landed in people's hands. It's absolutely astronomically incredible. Now, let's clarify. Four stimulus had an initial Build Back Better bill, meaning potatoes, not law yet, but three Fridays ago, the President of the United States announced an incredible four stimulus add-on. That is law. Did not go by Congress, went from the President. And as soon as it was announced three Fridays ago, I immediately slid it right into the membership newsletter. Because the purpose of the members are to get money before anyone else. And you pounce, Purple Hawks, and you've done so well. Countless viewers of the channel have gotten paid or gotten their application to approve status. So let's go over the details of what happened. It went live three Mondays ago. It's now been three weeks and one day. It's a huge program that pays out, ironically, the same amount of money that we had always talked about with Fort Stimulus, fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's like they were watching this channel. fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household. So if you are a family of four, you don't quadruple it like a stimulus check. Or married couple, you don't double it. The great news is that the eligibility is the same as a third stimulus check. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, you can get it. Here's what you need to know is that the money is for an incredible program. The name of it for purpose of this video is the Homeowners Grant. Where do you get it? Becoming a member. The link is at the top of the chat and in the pinned comment. Nightly, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I send out the incredible newsletter to you. And that was sent out the very first night that Joe Biden announced it. Not covered in broadcast media, not covered in print media. You ain't going to see it anywhere. It was a buried news story. I immediately delivered to the members. Now, it has been live for three weeks and one day. So understand, 
It's everywhere across the country. They will eventually run out of money. So you want to pounce, become a member right today and get the money. Let's go over the details. First, I'm going to go over this, which is for homeowners. But in a second, I got money for my renters and also homeowners, which is an MSC. So I got money for all of you. First, my homeowners. This, the homeowners grant is what I call it in this recording. When you open up that membership newsletter, you're going to see that I first give you the complete name. It's much longer than the homeowner's grant. Then I give you the eligibility, which I just went over. Then in the membership newsletter, I go over the funds of what you can use it for. You can use it for things like property insurance or also home repairs. Incredible purposes of what you can use the money for. It's astronomical. It is a grant, meaning it is not income, meaning it would is not taxable. It, not, it would not disqualify you from benefits. It is not a loan, meaning it is not subjecting you to a credit check. It's huge. In the membership newsletter, right under the name of the grant and the eligibility, then there's a link. It sends you right into the online application. The online application is from the federal government that sends you down to your state. Then you apply. If you're a member, it's in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's important to understand that if you make less than $25,000 a year, single individual, $150,000 less a year, and you own a home, you get it. Go get it. If you're on benefits, you can get it if you meet the qualification I just went over. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. If you own a home and you're within the income qualification, congratulations. Go get that fifteen dollars to $80,000. Now, the success stories, incredible. One after another, members have sent me messages. Hey, I, I got paid. Hey, I, I got my application on file. It says complete, and I'm about to get paid. Every few hours, another message from a viewer is incredible. And Mark, who you remember from earlier this year and last year, $100,000 Mark, yeah, he got $100,000 from all the incredible items I cover this channel. He got paid. He got paid over $60,000 from this incredible money. Again, it's fifteen dollars to $80,000. Here's what you need to know, and it's important. First, you need to apply. Don't wait. If you're not a member, become a member. Get that link, go right in, apply. Do not wait a minute. Every day that passes, people in your state get in front of you. It's first come, first serve. 100,000 people, however many however many people, 10,000 people get in front of you. Don't wait. It's not. It's first come, first serve. It's not unlimited funds. Number two, don't think about it too much. Don't ask around, ask questions, talk to your neighbor, talk to the guy who's selling the lobsters at the corner. Don't wait. Every day that you wait, you get further behind in the line. Number three, do not follow or listen to the extraneous chatter, whether it's in the line chat or whether you see it somewhere, just apply. If someone tells you, you have to go down a rabbit hole and I'm going to bring you down that rabbit hole before you apply, don't listen to them. Just apply. And I'm seeing the rabbit holes. Ignore them. Just apply. Get that application on file as quickly as possible. There you go. That is the incredible fourth stimulus add-on. It is now law. It is paying out. And viewers are getting it. So how do you become a member? Become a member by clicking the link at the top of the chat or under the video where it says member. Member. And it, YouTube will say, thank you, you're now a member. You'll see an emoji after your name of a Purple Hawk. Either Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Calcino VIP member. Then, go to the front of the channel, if you've not done this before, and they'll see a little bell. Make sure you hit that bell so you have all notifications set up. All. Not preferred. For example, I follow some pop stars. I don't want to see a notification when they're on the red carpet or when they're having a hamburger. So I don't have it set for all. I have it set for preferred. You want to set this to all. So you get that membership newsletter 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's sent via the YouTube alert system. YouTube, not the LA alert system, the YouTube alert system. Not by email or horse and buggy or waveable check. 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday through Friday, which means Monday through Friday, not Saturday and Sunday. Get that incredible membership newsletter, and it features the next item in there as well, MSCs. So MSCs are absolutely incredible. For stimulus, yes. Those IRS MSCs, yes. Not a law? No, it's not a law. This is MSCs, and it is a law. And where did it come from? Third stimulus. Third stimulus was passed by Congress last year, and it was the subject of this channel for every single video before it ever became a law. I trained people on third stimulus before it was a law. Why? Because I had a preview of it, and I said, when it becomes a law, I'm going to get you a lot of money. But nowhere did I predict this to happen.
Third stimulus is for renters and homeowners. So get ready if you are a renter or a homeowner, because I got money for both of you in this part of the MSE recording. Yes, if you got the homeowner's money I just went over, you can get this as well. What happened? Every time I talked about third stimulus, I said, get around, get three to four months. And that's what viewers did. When it became a law in January 2020, one, they got around. They got around for that spring. Then the summer, they got another round for those summer months, three to four months. Then winter, they got Christmas summers, three to four months. But something happened just about two weeks ago, and it shocked me. And then I saw it snowball, and it continued. Viewers said, eh, round. Let's just do the whole year. Let's just do two years. Let's just do three years. Let's just do an MSC check on this. And they did. And they've gotten it. It's absolutely incredible. Viewers said, I don't need three to four months. I need MSC checks 12 months, 16 months. And that's what they did. They did the same type of analysis that I teach them on this channel as members or as non-members. And now they're getting bigger payouts than I ever thought across the board. Now, if you take the information of this channel, you can win and win big. Here is the incredible Olivia Summers. The graphic at the top is wrong. I wrote 24 MSE checks. I made a mistake. She got 48 months of MSE checks. Yes, that's four years of MSE checks. Let's see what else she said. She said, thank you so much, LA. Because of you, my family has gotten a grand total of $150,000. I cannot thank you enough. Do you notice a couple things about that? First, she's getting monthly checks. Second, she's getting 48 months of that. Third, she's not even a member. She took her time to watch every single video, take notes, and pounce as a purple hawk and get those sums of money. It's absolutely astronomical. Her success story is not alone, and I'm going to tell you, every single hour, every single moment, I'm getting success stories from viewers. And it's measured one person at a time, but boy, it's astronomical. The average view of this channel in the last two weeks has taken off, and they're getting about $1,500, because most people's rent is about a thousand and most people's utilities is about 500 or more and so they're getting about fifteen hundred dollars and most are getting about eight nine ten twelve or more months it's hovering about 12 months and so Lindsay ramirez is not alone she got she's getting receiving fifteen hundred dollars of monthly stimulus checks for 12 months congratulations Lindsay. it breaks down to two checks she's getting the one is a thousand for rent every month and five hundred dollars for utilities and she says thank you la then we have David Allen. He got nine months at $1,500. These are people in the last seven or five days, folks. This is not five months ago. Mr. Bean, <laughs> or Bean, uh, this is from two nights ago. He got nine months of rent and electric and water. That's $16,000. I'll come back to Mr. Bean in a second. Annabelle got, uh, got six months. Then we have Mort uh, Michelle Mortisi got three months. Then we had um, the incredible... Incredible viewers who got eight months, like Do Johnny, who got eight months and $26,000. He got $26,000 of MSE checks uh, over eight months by watching Evenings Alley in prime time. Then we have countless other viewers. Here is Melly Pin, who got uh, an approximate eight months of mounting to $9,000. And the success stories continue across the board. Um, we had, um, we had uh, another viewer, I think his name is Ryan. He got one year, uh, and then we had um, Karen, who had a great success story. Every day is another success story. Now, here is what you want to know, is that ultimately, this is all about financial independence. And what I love about Bean's story is that he took it to another level. I Since this day one of this channel, I can't get the car in the driveway fixed. I don't have car stimulus. But I get your other bills paid for, and for a long time. And Bean says, thank you, Eli. Because of I watching, because I'm watching Evenings LA, because I got nine months of rent, electric, and water, and sixteen thousand dollars, I can now save for a car. I can now save for a car, and I'll never have to walk anywhere again because of you, LA. It's heartwarming. It's incredible, and that is the power of the pen. That is the power of the movement of the Purple Power. So where do you get this incredible money? Let's go over all the details of where you get this money right now. It's important to understand that you have to take the initiative, that this is not standing by the mailbox and just looking. You have to take the initiative. So let's go over where you get those incredible sums of money. Here we go. You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority to start. Let's stop it right there, that graphic. To start, I just said, six places. You ain't going to stop there. 
That's six places to start. So if you reach out to one and get a no and stop, you ain't listening. Six places to start. Next, you want to say rent assistance because of COVID. Mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. But let's stop on that as well. It's important to understand that when we're talking about the bill, when we talk about that four stimulus checks of fifteen, eighty thousand, you don't have to be behind on your rent, on your on your uh, property insurance or any of those bills. You do not have to be behind on anything. For third stimulus, you don't have to be behind on anything either. Let's continue the graphic. Uh, reach out to all six places. It just said. Notice what I just said. It just said reach out to all six places. So if you reach out to one, mm -mm, no, no, no. Then. If you're a member, you don't have six places. You have upwards of 15 places. Why? Because in the membership newsletter, there is also the incredible nonprofits. And those nonprofits feature other organizations that can pick up the rent or utilities where your county can't. And so you need to become a member, rely on those nonprofits, not featured in this video, but in that membership newsletter. Between the nonprofits and the six places, you will have over a dozen places to reach out to. More about that in a second. And get those applications on file because the average view of this channel is getting 45,000. Now, what's important to understand is that we also used, we used to talk about Johnny a lot in this video. And Johnny reached out to 15 places and got eight approved. He had a 50% rejection rate. Don't be afraid of rejection because rejection's your friend because ultimately you're going to get those MSC checks like countless viewers have. Move today and get those incredible sums of money. They're there for you starting right now. What's important to understand is that that is third stimulus MSC. It is addition to fourth stimulus Build Back Better MSC. And it's in addition to those four stimulus checks that have now landed. The huge news is that they're all happening at the same time. And the other thing that's happening at the same time is, yes, six stimulus. Six stimulus is Putin caused stimulus. And it's a battle recession. The White House, the economic partners of the Western allies, all understand that there's a looming recession if we don't do anything. And why? Because Putin has caused economic disruption, not just because of oil, because of also wheat and grain and soybeans and corn. And also the banking industry, and they don't solve it right now, then guess what? We're all going to recession. Remember, if we solve it domestically in the United States, but our partner allies go into recession, then we go into recession as well. So what is happening? What's happening is that in the next 48 hours, Joe Biden will land overseas and who we meet. He will land when, and land uh, in Brussels for a meeting March 23rd and March 24th with the Western allies. Those Western allies will discuss the passing of the six stimulus package. Now, let me go over what the six stimulus package will say and what it won't say. First, will Joe Biden say six stimulus? Latest update, 2022. He's not going to say that. They use different language, the legislators and the world leaders, than I do. So they will not use the word six stimulus. That's the first thing. Second, I want you to understand breaking news tonight, and it's huge. It's very important is that the presidents meet with a lot of different international leaders, and not every team of countries is going to agree upon it. I'm not worried about that. All I'm focused on is the United States, Germany, and France. Those are the only three countries I'm worried about, because they are the trifecta that said they're going to do this. Where did this start? It started three weeks ago when Anthony Blinken, your Secretary of State, went to Germany and France and said, get off of Russian products. They said, ah, I don't know. I'm too dependent upon it. He said, you must morally get off of it. And they said, you're right. I morally must get off of it. But how do I get off of it? The way they agreed to do it is debt spend. They're going to raise national debts in each of those respective countries, Germany, France, and the United States, and then provide stimulus to their citizens. Why am I going over such incredible detail to you? It's because you're going to see, you're going to see certain countries meeting in Brussels that says, no, I'm not doing anything. I'm going to continue to buy Russian. How do I know it? Because one country's already said it. In advance of the meeting starting tomorrow, one country, Hungary, is not hungry for anything else. They're staying with Russian products. So they've already said, if you ask us to get off of Russian products, we will veto it. Am I worried? No, because that's not the trifecta. I'm focusing on the trifecta, Germany, France, and the United States. So I wanted to clarify that for you because it may be confusing. It's also confusing because guess what? The president's meeting with NATO allies, G7 leaders, European Union leaders, and others to inter discuss international Ukrainian efforts. So this may seem confusing with his meeting with 10, 20 people. Do they all agree? No. So let's go over that six stimulus package. What will the six stimulus pa package address? It will address a trifecta at least of items. 
oil, commodities, banking, and default. And the most important is, of course, oil. Now, the President of the United States has inked that deal for oil. If you missed it on Friday's primetime broadcast of Unions LA, let me go over the details. The White House has reached a deal with Iran. It's huge, and it's going to bring your gasoline down to its lowest price point of a generation. Let's go over the details starting right now. The President of the United States understood that he had several options of where to find that gasoline, but what did he do? He went for the biggest producer and got a deal. Vladimir Putin, because his gasoline is not part of the equation anymore, because Russian oil is now embargoed or no longer included, has caused gasoline prices to go through the roof. That's why you see gasoline going up, because Putin's oil is out of the equation. So what did Joe Biden do? He went back to the drawing board. He had a lot of options, Venezuela, the number, most, number one most sanctioned country, that also is the number one biggest producer of gasoline. He couldn't do it. Too many harm and rights violations. The OPEC Plus countries, he could reach out to them, but they already said we're not going to increase production. He could have pushed, but they said, eh, I don't know. So what did Joe Biden do? He reached out to, not China, that's a China map, but he reached out to the biggest producer of gasoline there is. That is among the equations, and that is Iran. The United States reached out to Iran and finished 15 years of negotiations. Yes, 15 years of negotiations between the United States and Iran have been over something that is called the huge JCPOA, the Joint Comprehensive Plan or Joint Cause of Action. That JPCOA has been sitting on, the, on presidential tables for 15 years and no one's been able to do it. Then, last weekend, we thought it was going to get done until what happened? They walked away from the negotiating tables. The negotiation tables were in Vienna, not between the United States and Iran, but the partner allies negotiating on behalf of the United States. Yes, Germany and France. What happened? Russia interfered, telling Iran, don't do a deal because we need to trade with you. And Iran said, no deal. Then the United States coming back with a great solution. Reaching out to Sergei Lazarov, the Russian former prime minister, foreign, foreign minister, and saying, you know what, why are you upset? He says you're trying to block Russia from trading with Iran. Biden says, no, I'm not. I'll put it in writing and I'll confirm it. And with that, we had a deal. Russia stepped back and said, now that the United States is confirmed in writing that Iran can trade with Russia, even if there is a sanction order, even if there's a U.S. Iranian deal on oil, then we bless you from going ahead on this big oil deal. And with that, the deal was hatched. The deal was hatched with the United States and Iran for the first time in 15 years. Guess what? Here we go. You're ready for the big news? Uh, 500,000, that's a half million barrels of gasoline, will be available in all partner and U.S. soils within just a few weeks by April to May, growing to 1.3 million barrels a day by December. This is huge. Number one, this is bigger than anything that Texas can produce because Texas can't produce 1.3 million barrels. Number two, this is the biggest surge of gasoline in, into pipelines we've seen in nearly a generation. It'll drop gasoline down by to price levels we haven't seen in 15 years. It's absolutely astronomical. It also involved the other elements at issue, which was the release of a detained British citizen who has been in Iranian custody, and then Iran being released back $530 million of funds that have been held by British officials for nearly 20 years. So it's absolutely enormous. It solves the oil crisis, but where is oil tonight? Very confusing. Let me explain what's going on. Oil surging to $118 a barrel. Brent crude, oh my goodness. When this deal was announced, Brent crude had dropped to about 105 still high. Remember last weekend it was 96 What happened? Let me explain. The traders are just trading up oil on speculation. Don't think the deal on oil is not happening because you see Brent crude surging overnight. I want to explain that to you across the board. So even though we have a deal on oil that's going to solve it for us and the partner allies, the president has all the stuff to do. And that's why six of us is going to happen. The president has to solve the wheat situation. Why is the wheat situation more dangerous than even oil? When you talk about wheat, you can't get wheat from a grower to another grower if the crop is lost for three years. Let's explain. 
by getting off of Russian oil, we can revert or transfer one barge of oil from one place to another place and get it there in two weeks. It's pretty simple. In the case of wheat, not so simple, because guess what? If you don't have the crop for this season, you may not have it for several seasons. Let me tell you where we are tonight. Tonight, Vladimir Putin is circling Odessa. He's trying to desecrate the crown jewel of the Black Sea. He's also trying to disrupt our economy. Why? Because around the Black Sea, it's very fertile soil. And that is where the Ukrainian farmers have grown their crops for years. Those Ukrainian crops provide, in some cases, 80% of the wheat to Egypt and other, and other countries. That crop is not available because the farmers are not tending the crop. They're defending a war. And they're not preparing the crop for next season. So guess what? Yes, get ready for bread to go to five, six, seven, eight dollars a loaf because there's no wheat available to supply the lost Ukrainian wheat. Let's explain. In the United States, farmers could ramp up production domestically, but it would still be not enough to replace an entire country the size of Texas. Their wheat is now gone from the equation. And if it's gone, then the prices go up as they have in a 10 year high. If you remember this channel, I feature the wheat prices daily. And if you watch last night's membership newsletter, boy, folks, the numbers shot up on Monday, astronomical. I'll give you the latest numbers tonight for March 22nd for that wheat and grain, but boy, it is scary. So that problem is hard to fix, and that is why you need six stimulus to fix this Putin cause problem. The other part of Putin is getting more problematic by the moment, and we don't know the answer. It is the U.S. banks. U.S. banks have exposure to Vladimir Putin in debt and equity investments. And we don't know how big they are. And we won't know to Q1, Q2, or Q3 earnings reports by those big corporate banks. Guess what? If your bank goes under, it's bad news for you. Because guess what? Your local bank may have done bank with that big bank. And if it goes under, Joe Biden has to solve it. He did that day one of the Obama-Biden administration. Had to solve the big banks. You don't want your banks to go under because a big problem erupts. And so the other part of this equation is, yes, it's very bad. April 4th, Vladimir Putin, with a $2 billion debt repayment on principle due, if he defaults, which he's likely to default at $2 billion, then guess what? World economy is going into tailspin. Very problem across the board. So those world leaders meeting in Brussels tomorrow, the night after, to discuss all those allegiances, remember, it is more than just Germany and France that I worry about or focus on. It involves other countries like Hungary, who are part of the European Committee. They said, I don't care what you bring us, I'm vetoing it. So if you hear Hungary saying, I'm vetoing it, don't worry because they're not part of your six stimulus. Where would six stimulus be? First, it would be on an international level, number one. Germany, France, United States. Then a state level, the United States, Joe Biden, the, a, a, a federal level. Then a state level. States have already said, we have too much economic disruption at state level. We can do our own package. What are they talking about? They're talking about things like a tax holiday on gasoline. I mean, you wouldn't have to pay for tax on the gasoline at the pump. Could draw up it down dramatically overnight. That's what they're talking across the board. Meantime, what about China? China's far from over. China is the other reason for the six stimulus package. China has caused now multiple, multiple issues that are very worrisome for six stimulus. Number one is supply chain. Supply chain because, yes, China's suffering another wave of COVID. It's called the subvariant of Omicron. And that sub-variant is now striking an area of manufacturing in China that supplies your products in the United States. Supply chain, yes. Something that Jay Powell can fix, no. Problem number two, it's China. And this is even worse for China, not worse for us. U.S. major banks are telling their net worth clients, do not invest in China. Because Xi is too wishy-washy, too temperamental. You could wake up one morning and Xi could say, I'm devaluing your investment. Get lost. And selling your investment is worthless. So now Western allies are advising their clients not to invest in China. And Xi has seen it. That's why you see that Chinese economy going up and going down dramatically in its stock exchange movements in the last seven days. Huge movements. Largest movement in 30 years and one day up and then the next day down. It's all because of that. But the worst part of the China equation, we don't know the answer. And what is it? Again, Putin. 
That's why we have six stimulus. Putin has asked China for economic assistance and military assistance. It's the economic assistance that worries me. Why? Because he says he wants to undo the sanctions from the Western allies and the United States. Vladimir Putin facing $2 billion of debt default on April 4th. So what is he doing? He's reaching out to Xi, who Putin and Xi published a narrative, a written document before the Beijing Olympics saying they're the best of buddies forever, BFFs forever, that they will defend each other, that they will not have the Western allies tell them what to do. And guess what? That's what happened. Xi met with the President of the United States, and while it was a good meeting, while they did get on point for humanitarian efforts for Ukrainian refugees, Xi would not promise not to give Putin money to undo the sanctions. Very troubling across the board. Why is it troubling? Because this is what would happen. If Xi one day gives one penny to Putin for this big invasion, or to avoid a default, guess what the United States would do overnight? You got that S word right, sanction Xi and sanction China. And if the U.S. is sanctioning China, get ready for that R word again, recession. Because if you're going after a big economy like China, you're going to the recession. Vladimir Putin seeing his own economy go from 10th largest in the globe to soon the next Cuba. Valueless investments, valueless bonds, valueless equities, if he continues down this parad narrative of where he is. This is why if Putin goes under, we could be negatively impacted as well. It's a very, very problematic situation, bigger than anything you see in this recording. And that is why it's always important to get all these big sums of money across the board. Let's recap. Third stimulus, MSC checks landed. And if you remember, go to the top of the channel or under the pinned comment, get those MSC checks or re-watch the video and learn about how to get these MSC checks pounce. They're there for you. Pounce and get them as the purple hawks you are for renters and also homeowners. Fourth stimulus. Fourth stimulus for homeowners. That homeowners grant. Pounce as a member. Get those incredible checks right today. It's first come, first serve. Yes, you can get it in addition to those MSC checks. In addition to everything else you got on this channel, fifteen dollars to $80,000. And members have gotten both already. SS300, very, very problematic as we're trying to see what J-PAL will project and whether those projections are true or false. My analysis, they're just projections. You heard that last night in Union's LA, that J-PAL, in my opinion, does not have the tools to reduce inflation. It's caused by in economic disruption, supply chain disruption. And why he's having a lot of press conferences because he's trying to project to get inflation down. I don't think he can, has the tools to do it other than talking about it. Then... Joe needs to make that swap of coal into inflation right now, SS300. And then finally, the big bill back better and that CR and fifth stimulus for my beneficiaries. All coming on the horizon. Lots of money and lots of checks. Coming up later tonight is a series of broadcasts. We got a show on the hour, by the hour, on this channel. We got a show at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 9 o'clock. And then we go into our overnight shows. And with that, stay informed, stay focused. Have a beautiful day. From the shores of Santa Monica to the shores of Black Sea, stay informed, stay focused. Thank you for making this the number one show in prime time, Evenings LA for financial news. Join me nightly, 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 7 o'clock Central, and stay with LA for more.